Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Welcome, welcome to all my regulars and anybody that may be new. I um, put out a video every day, so try my best, enjoy my time in my studio and I really hope that you uh, love your time or love watching. And without further ado, I will get on with it. This is a 40 by 50 canvas. I am using me little fruit bowl thing as a bit of a um, template, I suppose. I'm doing a corner composition, so I'm just going to run this acrylic pen around the edges. I've got a plan stand. Don't need to be coy, Roy. Just set yourself free. Is that how it goes? Something like that. So I'm going to just use that as my base. I've got an idea in my head and I'm just going to go with it and hopefully it turns out. Um, and if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't, I'll try again. So I am going to make my nice colourful focal point here. So I will get on with that. Or maybe should I do my outer edges first? Maybe I use the white. Okay. So this is just some pre-made up white. The pouring medium and my recipes in the drop down box underneath this particular video. I'm just gonna squirt it all on. Hopefully I'll speed the video up for you so you don't have to watch the boring bits. But so many people say to me, please don't stir that, uh, speed it up because it's quite relaxing watching. So here we go, it shouldn't be too long. So just spread your paint out. Um, if you're a beginner and you're looking for, oh, how do they mix these paints for this fluid, fluid artworks, that is in, the description box underneath all my videos there's a link to how to make you know for beginners how to make the pouring medium there's um, also I, I do put a recipe in the drop down box also but if you need a visual and you need to watch a video then there is definitely a link there for you so got it all covered I've got a link to the um, suppliers that you can buy everything to do with your acrylic pour and more there's a link there so I'll try to yeah make sure there's everything there for a beginner as well as the professionals or the seasoned pourers that still want to um, get their materials okay I'm not too worried about right over the edges at this point in time because I can always do those at the end and sometimes you know you end up tilting your paint off over the edges but I don't think I'll be tilting this one today so I just wanted to do the composition in this corner and see how we go so I'm going to whiz over it with the heat wand I use a heat wand and not a butane torch far safer gets rid of any air bubbles and I'll have my drink of cells because I need my coffee mm -mm. what is better than art and coffee <laughs> I've got a little bit of the ultraviolet paint left here so I will do a wiggle 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 do the wiggles around the edges let's just just using up some of my bits of paint as well. Now I've got some paints here of different consistencies so I'm just hoping that they work out. So I have the crimson which is quite runny as you see it's a little bit of a worry. Maybe I use the other which is the cool red it just feels a little bit thicker. Maybe the May have been, it may be fine, but 
see how I go for paint so put plenty of that on there I want it nice bright cheerful uplifting as you do I have a little bit of well it's kind of navy but it looks like black navy it's really quite dark give this one the wiggles too and go around the outside with that one I hope you guys have all been fine I hope that you're coping with everything that you may have to put up with while everybody's in this current situation and finding something that gives you joy something that you just look forward to doing no matter what's happening in the outside world that's what I find is the best thing okay this is the bright yellow cool yellow maybe it's nice and bright and it should lift up all of those colors that I've just popped in there wow that's bright that is bright I have a little bit of viridian green which I may just swizzle around the place maybe I use that on the very edges actually because I want to try and do some wow anyone for pizza do you want pizza because that's exactly what it looks like at this present time pizza <laughs> now it's made me hungry for pizza tonight I need some white we go lovely lovely now I really would like to achieve some kind of like puppy dogs are not feeding you just yet leafy kind of pattern just trying to find a soft a bit of soft plastic it's just a bit of soft plastic file divider I may actually use a bit of my this is my very delicious mixed with only Amsterdam so let's see if I can get some nice lacing happening oh, ah, it's not going to come out so you just pop your skewer in your holy bit and you pick out the bugger which it's got in there yucky just paint dried no biggie I'm just gonna bit of berry delicious on my pizza round and I get my soft plastic file divider and I give it it I just hopefully kind of achieve <laughs> dogs crying is this dinner time as my husband calls it doggy donalds you say to the dogs doggy donalds and they know it's their tea time I'm not exactly liking that coming out so dark looking but there's some lacing coming up in that so it may be quite nice Just take it nice and easy, just relax with it. I'm not initially liking that very much, but I just think it's too dark. But I'll go with it because if all else fails, I can scrape out the dark, I can change it. That's probably what I should have done was done more wispy bits. Take it through a bit more of the colour. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I should have done a bit wispier instead of blocks. 
see a bit of wiggles everywhere. Makes, softens the whole thing up. Yes, that's far better. I like that better. Oh, that's a bit too thick, never mind. I will worry about that bit later. Okay. Looks like a mad hairy woman or, or the Medusa or something, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get some something pretty out of this. I'm going to push on with it. I will get my, oh my balloons on down again. So I'm gonna press in, oh there's way heaps too much paint there at the present time, but I'll just take some of the paint off with the pressing, the kissing the balloon. So that's taking it over the side. If you get the same problem that you're doing a balloon kiss, but the paint falls in, then just walk away and leave that piece of art for the paint to absorb into the canvas a lot more and, um, and self-level. So I've just gone round, but I'm definitely going to walk away and <laughs> leave it for a little while. But it's kind of, yeah, fun. I actually like it. I do like it and let me move that over you can also try just keep wiping your balloon off every time you balloon kiss it and you can go back in the same balloon kiss but make sure you wipe it off every time that'll remove a bit of the paint without making the colors go muddy i find if you just keep wiping your balloon off press it back in Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, how colourful and uplifting is that? Oh, wow. Wow, wow. I am going to leave this for a little while to dry off. I'm going to come back with my smaller balloon. But that is really, really... I love it. I love it. I haven't done, like, this particular one. So there you go. Okie doke. It has been about... 20 minutes now so I am leaving it like this I did just go in slightly with the smaller balloon um, and just embellish it a little bit more I've left the um, tendrils or the leaves looking so it's kind of like a flowery burst isn't it I'm really happy with it I did a few little floaty things like buggy like looks like a what you call them a not a grasshopper dragonfly dragonfly fairy flies but look at these lovely rich colors just some slight cells popping up in them it's really vibrant it's really uplifting so if you want to give this one a go it is a pleasure to actually make because it's nice and relaxing and it's nice bright and uplifting so if you give it a go let me know um, i hope you enjoyed the video today and i want to thank you so much for joining me again and i will be back tomorrow so um take care you lovely people please take care until tomorrow bye for now